Mr. Burley, St. Elizabeth Catholic School. We are going to use Fusion 360 today to design a basic spinner or fidget toy. These are very popular right now. This particular one we're going to do an output in 3D printer, so in plastic. So we have to consider when we're doing plastic that there's shrinkage. So say you're going to do a hole here to press in, I don't know, nickels or whatever the case may be. You're going to have to measure the nickel and then you're going to have to plan for the shrinkage on that. So it's going to, if the nickel was, say, 22 millimeters in diameter, it's not, but say it was, then we would make it something a little bit larger, possibly 22, sorry, 22.3, say, 350 microns. That way it would shrink down and it would hold it in because you need an interference fit in there the whole time. Same is true here. This is the bearing. If the bearing is, the bearing is in fact, 22 millimeters in diameter. And for the best results, I've found, found that we use 22.348, and it gives me the, just the perfect amount of press fit to retain the bearing. So if you decide you're going to use dimes or whatever the case may be, you're going to have to measure them. You're going to have to accurately do that. So to get started, what we're going to do is we're going to go new model, new design. We're going to try. I'd like to turn the origins on so I can see. I'm going to sketch, create a sketch. I'm going to sit on this face. So it's sitting flat on the say flat on a table. And using these tools here, we're gonna start sketching something. So I'm the one I'm about to do right now, you don't have to copy as a student, you don't have to copy it exactly. My the anticipation of this video, my expectation, I, I guess better word, is that you follow the tutorial and then create something of your own design. So I'm gonna start off by sketching the center circle and I'm gonna work around that, which I guess at this point everybody would do this. So I'm gonna put 22.148. That's the center diameter. Now at this point we're just sketching, so I'm going to come up here, I'm going to draw a line. The nice thing about Fusion 360 is uh, you don't have to choose, uh, when you're sketching lines, you don't have to sh choose construction lines and so on. You can just go ahead and just use any line you want. So I'm going to come down through here, and I want it 90 degrees, and you can see it's 90 degrees if you look up to the right hand side. And I'm going to go here, I'm going to escape this one. Now. Everybody can do each process can be done a little bit different. You don't have to copy it exactly this way. Um, I just find it's the way it's worked for me so far. Now I'm going to put a circle up here somewhere, and I'm going to make the circle. I'm just going to pick an arbitrary number, meaning it doesn't matter right now. You can choose your size later. Say I'm going to make it 10 millimeters. Actually, I don't like 10. 10 is going to be too small. I'm going to make it bigger. I'm going to make it a little bit larger. And as I double click that number again, I'm going to make it 20, so it looks nicer. Now. What I do is I'm going to come back now and I'm going to revolve. So I'm going to create a sketch and I come down to the circular pattern here. And I'm going to click this and I'm going to click. Now, so that's just said, okay, I want to make this a circle pattern. I want to revolve it around something. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick the center point. I want it to revolve around the center here. And now I can choose how many I want. Two, if I wanted two, it would do something like this. Two, oh, I have to do it. I'm two. So it's going to look like something like that or four. And look something like this, or three. I'm going to, in this particular model, I'm just going to go three. So now we know 360 divided by three, so we know it's 120 degrees between each one of these ones. And so now you can see how it's starting to, to shape up. Um, the next step is I would do is I'd come in here and I would put a circle around this one here, because we need some plastic around that to hold the material in, to hold the uh, whatever it is you're putting in there. And this time I'm going to change that one. I'm going to sketch the dimension of this guy here, and he's 27. I'm just going to make it even 28. And then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to do the same thing again, sketch it. I'm going to circular pattern. I'm going to choose this guy here. I'm going to select the center point again. And you can see what's happening here. Now I can come, I can do a really rudimentary one. I can come, this is a line tool. As I reach up here, and you'll notice that the little blue square is following nicely down the circle. So if I hold, if I click it and then hold my shift key, you'll see it shows the little round circle with the line over it. That means it's going to be perfectly tangent too. And if I come around here, now if I clicked here, it wouldn't work. But if I scroll down, you can see the tangent line. See that little guy come up there? It says that's tan perfectly tangent. I click that. And now this line is perfectly touching here and touching there. So same is true here. I'm going to click it anywhere along here. It doesn't matter. Click it. And then when I come over here, I push tangent here. And it specifies the next point and it shows it. And I'm going to do the same thing up here. I'm going to kind of click anywhere here, and I'm going to come down. I'm going to scroll along here somewhere, and boom, there we go. So this is a pretty rudimentary toy. Um, 
you know, if you follow this video completely just like this and then you hand this in, I'm not going to give you top marks. I'm looking for creativity here, as, you, as you're well aware. So I can show you a couple more little things before we extrude it into a solid. Uh, you could come in here and you could just play with the line tools. You could sketch a line here and you could come up midpoint here. You could calculate the angle from there to there, from actually from here to here, and then from here to here, and add the two numbers together, and then put it on the exact angle. Or you can simply come up here and walk down until you find the midpoint, which there it is there. So you click the midpoint, and that gives me a nice place to start with a circle. I'm going to come in here, and I'm going to, I'm going to collect a circle tool, and I'm going to grab the center of this guy here, and I'm going to scroll right on out like that. I'm just having some, I'm just making some fun little designs. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here, and I'm going to go sketch, and I'm going to go to uh, trim, actually trim break. We're going to start breaking stuff. I'm going to break this, I'm going to break that, and I'm going to break this, and I'm going to break that. That enables me now to go and delete them. Delete, delete delete, uh, delete that, and now I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to go sketch, I'm going to go break here, and I'm going to break this guy here, and I'm going to break this guy here, but instead of, I'm going to delete that guy on the outside. Then I'm going to go here, and I'm going to delete him, Oops. I'm going to sketch again, I'm going to break this guy, so I'm going to break, break this guy here, and break this guy here, and I can come back now and delete these ones. Boom, boom. You see? Now, I could, if I like that, I thought that looked pretty cool, I could come back down here, I could go circular pattern, I could grab this one and this one, I could click OK, center line, I could click OK, and bang, it goes all the way around, I could click OK, then I'd have to come down and break, of course, delete these guys, do the same sort of thing, break this line here, break this line here, break this line here, and then I come back up and I'm just going to delete it, I can come here, delete, here, delete, here, delete, okay? So there I have it. Now I'm going to go to isometric view and I'm going to push pull it, create a solid. So I'm going to stop the sketch. I'm just going to finish sketching. I'm going to click on this guy here. I'm going to go extrude. I'm going to click on this one. Make sure you get the right surface here. I'm going to go like this and pull him up. Uh, the maximum height I can be here is uh, seven millimeters. Okay. So, or you can actually calculate uh, what it is. If you have, say you're going with the dimes and you want like five dimes, that you can measure them and you can figure out the thickness. It, it doesn't necessarily have to be exactly seven. Um, I use that for the one I just did at any rate. Uh, new body, uh, we're going to pull one side, the distance in here, I'm going to do the distance of seven millimeters. Now, you see it's acting funny now. I'll show you why. This is, uh, undo this one. It's because this line is here. I'm going to delete this guy here and then I gotta delete this line here, and I've got to delete this line here. These are construction lines. I gotta delete those now, it should work fine. You can see it's all shaded in. Right click it, Whoop. escape, right click, grab this, and now I'm gonna pull it up. It'll look just fine. Um, that's how it's supposed to look. So we're gonna go seven millimeters, click OK. And again, that's something you're you're gonna look at something like that. If don't please don't just follow the exact video and come and hand this in because that's not what I'm looking for. This video is just to show you how to get started. Okay, thank you very much. And the next video will show you how to model it and make it more interesting.